hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new then it's awesome to meet you don't forget to like share and subscribe so in today's video we're going to be making a beautiful diy dollar tree earring this earring is a follow-up to the video that i did last week where i made a diy dollar tree necklace if you haven't watched that video as yet just click on the link in the description below and without further ado let's get started here's a list of the items that you'll need let's get started so the first thing i did was get a print up of different sizes of the the shape of the continent of africa so that i could put inside my hoop earrings after selecting the size that I wanted, I just cut out that shape and then I used the cardboard. I used the shape to make a printout on the cardboard and cut that one out as well. Don't forget that you need to make two copies of the cardboard cutout of the continent or whichever country you choose to make. So afterwards you just cut those out next you're gonna get whatever fabric you choose to use or whatever color for your earring what you see me doing here is i'm brushing the mod podge onto the cardboard cutout and putting it on the fabric so that i can cut that out afterwards and you see the shape of the continent I do it on the other side as well you also want to put some on the outside of the fabric which will allow it to get hardened when it's dried now on to making my hoops what I did was I used about one and a quarter circle of memory wire to make my hoops. Don't forget to use a memory wire cutter because the regular cutters don't work with memory wire. That will ruin it. Now use a marker to mark about one inches on your mem on each end of your memory wire. That way you can see where it's the airing is gonna meet. Afterwards, I use the flat nose pliers to bend it where I made that mark. That way I know exactly how big my loop is going to be and where it's going to meet. Don't forget to test your herring oops against the size of your cutout. That way you'll know for sure if it works. As you can see, I pre-sorted my beads so that will make it easier for me. So that is something that you can consider doing as well, just to make it go a little faster. okay guys here comes the hard part so in order to close my loops and get them together what i did is i used a tube bead one of those tube crimp beads i put the eye pin in the middle between those two ends of the hoop and then i use a crimp 
bead to hold it together and just snap it so one trick that i had to do was in order to keep the eye pin stable inside of it i had to dab a little glue on there so that it will stay now this part was a little tricky too because i tried to make a loop and it didn't come out as perfect as i was hoping but right here you know you can have fun with it you can design it however you want to give it your own flair okay after you've done your little design on both ends of the loops then you will have the end of the eye pin left in the middle so you want to bend that backwards to make a loop so you can attach a jump ring and your herring hook to that okay so for the finishing touches what you're going to do is attach three jump rings together to give it a little bit of length in the middle and then you attach one end of those jump rings to the eye pin and the other one to your cutout shape of your continent or country or whatever you want to use to make that airing
Now the last thing I did was to make a hole in my shape where I was going to attach the jump ring to it. I used the hull or you can use anything pointy that you have like a sharp pointy scissors or anything. Okay, so one tip that I have for you is to pre-make your shape so that the Mod Podge will have a, lot, a longer time to dry. Okay guys, and there you have it. Isn't that very beautiful? Okay, so the last thing I did was to use a marker to cover the edge of the shape so that it blend in with the color that I'm using. Okay, there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with me here. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me for my next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and join us again for more inspiration, creativity and relaxation.